Hello everyone, my name is Juliana. Welcome to Juju Brigadeiro's channel. Today's recipe is frango con quiabo y polenta. Frango is chicken, quiabo is okra, and polenta is polenta. The Portuguese brought the chicken to Brazil. The okra came with the Africans and the polenta with the Italians. And all together makes a Brazilian dish. Let's get started. I'm using a whole chicken, small sized. And I'm cutting it up into pieces passing the carving knife on the joints of the chicken, using my fingers to identify them. The bottom part of the back of the bird should be washed before the use. Then I put into a pestle garlic, onion, parsley and thyme, salt and pepper and turmeric, all to taste. And then I'm crushing everything with a little bit of olive oil. And then once it's looking like a paste, I pour it on the chicken and then I scrub it all over the chicken pieces and I leave it aside to marinate. To peel the tomatoes, I firstly grill them. And then I remove the seeds and then I cut each half in six pieces. Then I pour some oil into a pan and I fry the chicken pieces. The back part of the chicken is essential for this recipe because it is the piece that will bring all the special flavor to it. After 3 to 5 minutes the skin should be golden brown and then I move the pieces around just to prevent it of getting burned. Then I add the tomatoes and boiling water, just enough to cover the pieces. Then I put the lid on and I let it to cook for 35 to 40 minutes at medium heat. For the polenta, I'm putting into the pot two units of garlic cloves with the peel half of an onion, some parsley and thyme, then I cover it with boiling water and I add some salt and pepper to taste and I let it to boil for 10 to 15 minutes and then I turn the hop off and I let it to rest for 5 minutes. Only then I sieve it and I bring it back to the hob at medium heat. And then I add the polenta flour whisking constantly. Then I add the milk from time to time just to help it to cook. After 20 minutes it should be ready, looking like a cream. 
Add some salt and pepper if it's needed. For the okra, I'm using frozen ones that I found in the Chinese shop. In the frying pan, I pour a drop of oil and then I add garlic, onion, mixed herbs. Okra. Few drops of white vinegar, salt and pepper and one tablespoon of chopped tomatoes. That's it! Like it, subscribe to it and leave your comments down below. The recipe is on the description of the video. Check it out! Beijo! Até mais! Tchau!